hi guys welcome to teach to code today I'm gonna show you how to host a website okay for that first of all we have to buy a hosting space there are many hosting providing companies are all over there we have to choose the right one okay if you are going for money or quality you can select which one you want if you are going for low money then the quality and service will be less okay first of all I will go to Google and type by solution solution okay by solution dot in uh, it's a hosting space providing firm it's a local firm I think but there are many other international MNC firms all over there like uh, hostgator.com hostgator.com okay web hosting services in the previous tutorial we are uh, we already seen about how to buy a domain okay in this tutorial we will see how to buy a hosting space to park your website okay view web hosting plans if you click on this you will able to see the different plans hatching plan 20 percentage of starting at dollar 3.96 per month unlimited space unlimited bandwidth shared SSL certificate okay it's 3.96 per month unlimited baby plan business plan okay this is hostigator it's a worldwide hosting providing company okay now if you are cheaper that uh, you don't have enough money to pay then you can go for a local uh, web providing company by solution dot in by solution dot in okay okay by solution dot in this is also a website providing company they have copper plan silver plan golden plan diamond plan okay a diamond plan will 899 rupees yearly this space unlimited uh, bandwidth unlimited website unlimited subdomains unlimited soft yes okay for that it must uh, cost about 899 yearly not monthly 899 yearly okay after that uh, if you are interested in this one okay you can click on oh, you can review other plans also order now then we will go straight to their shopping card okay you can select and order now and it will go to the payment page and there you can select which payment type you want you can use net banking uh, PayPal credit card all of the payment method we can use okay after that after the payment uh, you will get a uh, what mail regarding your domain details and other name server details etc okay okay uh, the mail sample will be like this it will contain the plan that you are using diamond plan domain you are domaining okay I am just marked as uh, just for a sample okay but your domain has been registered then amount username uh, password control panel URL uh, name server this name server that we have to update it in the name server portion in your domain account if you are using godaddy or big growth then you, you you should manage your first of all you you should go to your uh, account and then go for the name server option then give these four name server in the text box and update then it will point your hosting space okay this will be your settings after you purchase you will be getting the mail regarding about this okay after this you should go for your domain uh, domain website the website that you purchase your domain okay for example I am just taking big rock uh, I bought a domain from this website okay to log in your account click on my account then enter your email address and password that you use to sign up 
Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Um, this will be your account dashboard and here is the domain that you had purchased. Okay, you can click on your domain okay, then you can see here the name servers okay, click on here name servers okay, then use the name server that they were provided ns1 dot then copy and paste in this one if you add more names uh, box for name server you can click on add more then update name server then it will automatically point to your web hosting server okay then you can log sign out from here okay if you are taking godaddy mm, there will be name server updation option but it will be in a different tab or in a different way anyway you can check that out okay then after that i will show you uh, how to take the uh, control panel okay okay here this will be my control panel url copy that one and paste it over here then click on enter then you can see your control panel and you can enter the username and password they provided username and password okay And here comes my C panel, and you can see the overall details over here: email account, subdomains, CPU usage, etc. Databases. Okay. After that, you can go for file manager, web root. all your file are managing over here you can upload new new files over here okay this will be your root folder and okay you can create a new file over here new file new file over here and you can name that and if you want to edit that file be index.html edit edit and here you can give the whatever you like and if i take that okay our site has been current has been appeared over here okay if you want to upload anything in your file you can do it in two ways you can compress a zip okay not raw zip file then you can click on upload and then you can drag and place it over here it will automatically uh, uploaded your zip file and then you can extract here also you can upload a single file over here by upload clicking upload and sting over here okay many of them are using other third party file uploading softwares like okay this is file seller and here in software you can manage your files in your uh, hosting space okay you can upload new files or create new file over here without going the cpanel okay for that first i will use file if you want to add a new site click on file then click on site manager if you want to add new site you can click on new site and enter a host name then if logon type you can give different settings over here ask for file password i am giving normal okay then i will type my password over here if you have port number if your hosting provider wants port you can give the port name otherwise just leave left it blank okay then click on connect
type the password again okay it is connecting over there and my directories are listed over here successfully here you can see my uh, cpanel directories then click on www which is the root folder then you can see the directories and files that we have seen in our cpanel if you want to upload a new file just click on the file and then click on drag and uh, drag over here and it automatically upload the selected file over to the cpanel okay or to the hosting space and if you want to upload an entire for then it is also easy like that file click on this one and then just drag over to the right side okay if you want to check that you can go over your cpanel and click on reload again and you can see that file over here readme.md okay like this way if you want to delete the file you can delete it if you want to edit this file you can edit you can use the inbuilt code editor okay like this one okay uh, this is basic um, basic about uploading and managing cpanel okay in future tutorials we will see about the advanced way okay thanks for watching my tutorial